We continue now with our Broward Health Injury Report with Dr. Carrera, and in this report, we're going to talk about a common injury in athletes, especially in high school athletes, and that is a twisted ankle. That's right. It's the most common injury that we see actually in sports is uh, ankle uh, twisting injury. So they, it can happen a couple of different ways. One is just ligament injuries, and then you can also have an ankle fracture, which is a broken bone or a combination of those two. All right, so we get a, a twisted ankle, a sprained ankle. It's going to swell up, and then what happens? Then we uh, should check it out. So the things that are really worrisome typically is a lot of swelling and an inability to bear weight on it or to put weight on it, to walk on it. Uh, so if, that, if you're seeing those uh, couple of things, that's more of a sign of a, of a potential fracture, but you don't really know necessarily unless you get an x-ray. And then the fracture would require some kind of surgery. Not, uh, not all the time, but a lot of times it will. So depending on whether the bones have shifted or not, uh, and the overall stability of the ankle, uh, it will need uh, surgery or not. So that's something that needs to be uh, looked at carefully. And quickly, a sprained ankle, how long is the rehab there? So it depends on the extent of the injury, but it can be anywhere from two weeks to six or eight weeks, actually, depending on the severity of it. So the high ankle sprain, uh, which we have generally heard about as being the bad sprain, that is the longer acting one, usually about six weeks to get back on the field for. All right, very good. Thank you very much, doctor. Thank you.